Hey guys, Wondering Shell here. Once again, we're doing another Marvel United, this time with Longshot. He looks like a pretty cool guy, I think, with his little jump and throwing daggers. I have no idea who he is in the Marvel United, or Marvel MCU, whatever you want to call it. I never even heard of him. Maybe I have? I don't know. Um, because it's been a while since I heard a lot of the characters' names, so I wasn't too sure on who this guy is, so fortunately, I'm not too sure. Apparently he has movies? I don't know. Apparently he was first appeared in September 1985, so great timing, I guess? I don't know what he does. Oh, he's a fugitive from another dimension. Ah, who discovers that he has good luck powers. Interesting. So he's kind of like Domino in a way, like male version of Domino. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry guys, I'm actually looking up this guy and I don't know where the daggers come from. And why is his name Longshot? Oh, here, his powers, okay. Uh, oh, he's created through genetic engineering. Eh. What? Okay. You sure this is the same guy? According to this, he was created through genetic engineering by Ariz. Longshot has hollow bones and three fingers in the oppo and a opposable thumb on each hand. Okay. Are we forgetting the pinky? He also has leather-like skin and two hearts. Huh? Uh huh. He also has healing abilities. Okay, this is weird. So he just... He's just lucky. Okay. He just has good luck, but all these other stuff. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I feel like he, he's too overpowered, in a way. With all the engineering and whatnot. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think he's uh, too overpowered with all that? Because apparently he has like super allied, um, agility and strength and good luck. I don't know. And apparently three fingers and a thumb. For whatever reason. No idea. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're back to thinking my brain. Back to painting this character. I still don't know where the daggers are coming from. Is he just throwing daggers? Or is it coming from his hand? I don't know. Maybe he's just that lucky. I don't know. Um, a very simple... Well, he's not that simple, actually. He has a lot of complications. I did do a, basically a brick wall. Or brick um, section. Kind of like what I did with Toad with that brick. But I did dry brush desert yellow to be a different type of brick or look to it. I could have gave it the dirty look with the dark stone, but I already did dark stone for the bottom, so more dark stone on dark stone, it wouldn't look good. Let's 
So I'm going through making sure I painted all the little sections that you probably can't see because the camera is on the overhang. And with everything, always do a flush wash when it comes to skin tones. And then, yes, I know he is getting a strong tone because usually villains do get strong tones. He's apparently not a villain, and I know that. But I ran out of soft tone, so I had to do this. And from the Guardian, a uh, Guardian episode, I said that you're going to see some of these heroes having strong tone instead. Uh, until I get soft tone back or buy new ones, they're going to get strong tone. And it's just how it happens. So just wrapping up basically repainting anything that's raised uh, especially the leather um, when you're doing like black jackets and stuff I like to do necromancer cloak instead um, you can do black and then have like the necromancer cloak shine to it or something like that but other than that I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!